41 is the second most points a Celtic has scored on Christmas Day, uh, second only to Tommy Heinsohn. Do you think about your place in Celtics history, either in the moment or in your downtime, and what did it feel like playing you know, for the Celtics on Christmas? Um, do I ever think about it? No, just because we have so much you know, tradition and history, you know, so many banners and records and so many retired numbers um, that it just feels like, you know, those guys accomplish, you know, so much. Um, and, you know, myself and other guys, you know, trying to trying to get there. Um, but it's hard to, you know, think in a moment at 24 that, you know, I, I have a place in Celtic history. Um, <clears throat> But, you know, it's definitely an honor. You know, I've, I've said that many a times, how much uh, I love being here and, you know, what it means to play on Christmas. You know, it's six year in a row and uh, something I never want to take for granted that, you know, as a kid, that was part of the tradition is, you know, eat, be with family and watch all the games and try to envision myself, you know, playing there one day. And, uh, you know, now I get to do that. Uh, Jason, uh, first, that the, the dunk over Giannis, can you just take us through that? And second, um, kind of what you just said toward the tail end of your response there, playing on this stage uh, against Giannis, going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, just take us through, like, one, the play, and, and two, just uh, being able to perform at, at such a high level on Christmas Day against Giannis and the Bucks. Yeah, I mean, the play was just attack the rim. Uh, you know, the Bucks, you know, a big team, big physical team, and uh, you go in there, try to lay it up. You know, they're probably going to block it, especially him. Um, and, you know, playing against the Bucks, you know, obviously you got some history there. Uh, but, you know, I got so much respect for them, um, the things that they've accomplished in the recent years. and um, They bring out the best in us. Um, and, you know, we know it's a team that we're going to see pretty often. And, uh, you know, Giannis as well is, if not the best, one of the, the best players in the league today. Um, you know, I got a lot of respect for him. And, the things he's accomplished and, you know, just how he approaches the game. Um, you know, when we're not playing, I like watching the Bucks play. You know, he's a big reason why. Jason, you've played really well against other MVP <coughs> candidates this season, not just Giannis. Um, what brings out that level of focus against other superstars? Like, how would you explain that trend? I think just the competitive nature of um, – it's fun. It's fun playing on – national TV is fun playing on Christmas, uh, you know, and those matchups are fun. You get to play against, you know, the other best players and, uh, you know, it just raises your level of play. Uh, and, you know, in the competition is, 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 is exciting, but, uh, you know, it's the, the game that you live for, you know, the, the moments, the matchups, uh, you know, if you can't get up for those games, then you're probably in the wrong profession. So, uh, you know, in the midst of it, it's just a lot of fun competing on a stage like this. Joe kept you in for the entire second and third quarters. Do you like that? And then in that third, what, I mean, what did it feel like for you? Yeah. Um, and, you know, me and Joe got a great relationship, and we just kind of read the game, how the game is going. You know, I normally come out first at the six-minute mark, but, uh, you know, there was no stoppage of play until – three and a half minutes of the first. So kind of messed up the rotation, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I knew I wasn't going back in and he was like, you're going to play the whole second. And I had it going in the third and, uh, you know, we just kind of talk about it throughout the game and, and it, it can change from game to game. Um, but, you know, just something we always talk about. And then what did it feel like when you got on that roll in the third? Uh, I mean, it felt good anytime you're making shots. Um, but just the way we were playing as a whole, you know, not only myself, but Smart was making plays, Grant, um, Rob going, coming in there and giving us, you know, extra possessions with offensive rebounds, um, Brogdon, D. White, you know, everybody that came in at in the second unit in the third quarter, um, you know, it just gave us life. And, you know, from the crowd, um, we just kind of fed off of that. And then, do you feel like it was important for you guys to kind of remind yourselves what you're capable of? Uh, you know that. Uh, I don't think we – we never forgot, um, but it did feel good to kind of get back to playing, you know, the way that we know how to play. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we have the emotional understanding of it's a long season and, you know, 
Um, there's going to be great stretches and there are going to be some bad ones, you know, just kind of not letting the bad ones snowball effect and um, get back on track, you know, sooner than later. Um, and, you know, it helps when we make shots too. You were just talking about playing uh, with fun before, and that's something you've brought up a few times when you guys are losing. Do you feel like you guys are having fun playing together again? Yeah, um, fun definitely correlates with winning. Um, it's no fun when you're losing. Uh, and, you know, everybody just feels better about themselves when you win, um, and especially when everybody's contributing. You know, we shot the ball a lot better today than we have um, over the last week and a half or so. Um, and it was Christmas. I think everybody just kind of felt it. Um, and you know how special, you know, playing on Christmas is. Jason, the way you guys were able to respond today and, and against Minnesota in the second half, and yeah, what does that say about the team that you were able to kind of step up? This is the, the best team you've played all season, and you were able to score almost 140 points um, despite the fact you guys haven't played all that great. What does that say about the team and how motivating it is for the future to, to be able to put a performance together like this after what's happened the last couple of weeks? I think that's just a, a sign that, you know, we do have a really good team in all honesty. Um, you know, we're not perfect and nobody is. And, you know, like I said earlier, we're going to have some bad moments, you know, some some tough games. Um, and that's fine. And, um, you know, there's nothing that you can change about those games. Um, it's all about just how do you respond? You know, something we talk about all the time from, you know, how do you respond from, you know, half to half or game to game? Um, and I think that is uh, a key sign of a, of a really good team. Just how do you bounce back? How do you respond uh, moving forward? 